सहना सहनो भुनक्त सह वीर करवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मा विषा वह ओं शाति शाति शा ओं सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम कस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नमस्ते अस्तु भगवन विश्वराय महादेवाय त्र्यंबकाय त्रिपुरातकाय त्रिकाग्निकालाय कालाग्निद्रा नीलकंठाय मृत्युंजयाय सर्वेश्वराय सदाशिवाय श्रीमन्महादेवाय नम ओं समस्तजन कल्याण निरत करुणाम नमा चिन्मय देव सद्गु ब्रह्म विद्वर हरिओं सलूटेशन टू ऑल टूडे वी सी द ग्लोरी ऑफ भगवान ओंकारेश्वर सो लिसनिंग टू द लीला सॉ भगवान चैंटिंग द नेम ऑफ भगवान is most auspicious and bhagwan's nature is kalyana swarup ananda swarup and when one lis- we listen to the katha of bhagwan we also discover our nature to be that the nature to be auspicious of bliss so omkareshwar jyotirling कावेरी कावेरी का नर्मदयोपवित्रे समागमे सज्जन तारणाय सदैव मंधात्रपुरे वसत ओंकारमीशं शिवेकमीडे श्लोक फॉर ओंकारेश्वर जी इन द ट्वेल्व ज्योतिर्लिंग इन दट श्लोक देर वी सी लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लेसेस अ लिटिल डिफरेंट वर्शन इज देर वेर सौराष्ट्रे सोमनाथ श्रीशैले मल्लिकाजुन उज्जैनिया महाकाल ओंकार अमलेश्वर इज वॉट दिल से बट एज वी सॉ ऑल ऑफ द प्लेसेस आर इन दवेन्थ केस इन सो सौराष्ट्रे इन सौराष्ट्र श्रीशैले इन श्रीशैल सो लाइक दैट इट इज उज्जैनिया महाकाल ओंकार परमेश्वर नाउ दि ओंकार परमेश्वर दिस इज अ वेरी यूनिक ज्योतिर्लिंग इन द सेंस द प्लेस इज ओंकारेश्वर एंड सो भगवान इज कॉल्ड ओंकारेश्वर I mean, is Bhagwan manifested as Omkareshwar, so the place is called Omkareshwar. So that is one aspect that in Omkareshwar, Parameshwar has manifested. So Omkare Parameshwaram. So the place Omkare Bhagwan manifested, so Parameshwaram is written. But a different meaning of this is there are two Jyotirlingas in this place, but they are considered one. so omkareshwar has omkareshwar bhagwan as well as parameshwara who is the amaleshwar bhagwan we will see that the whole story comes so in the earlier shloka where we have omkaram amaleshwaram it actually has to be omkare amaleshwaram in omkara there is amaleshwar bhagwan also and there is omkareshwar bhagwan also so where is this place in madhya pradesh omkareshwar and uh, kaverika narmada yo pavitre so there is a sangam of kaveri and narmada now one thinks kaveri is in the south how did it come in madhya pradesh maybe that is gupta kaveri which is flowing in madhya pradesh 
that's because our our, our thinking is like that ki we think there is only one kaveri that is another kaveri that is flowing there why should there be only one kaveri so we will see that also how it flows so kaveri ka narmada yo pavitre so there is a sangam of kaveri and narmada samagame means sangam sajjana taranaya for the uh, emancipation or mukti of sajjanas all good people sadhaks devotees sadaiva mandhra mandhatru pure vasantam so in on the hill called mandhata from so the hill mandhata which is there the mountain narmada ji flows one side kaveri flows one side and then there is a sangam also that happens that parvat is supposed to be of the form of omkar and there bhagwan has manifested on the banks of kaveri narmada sangam as well as uh, where the mandhata parvat is on the mandhata parvat bhagwan has manifested and he lives there sada vasantam sadaiva mandhatra pure vasantam omkaram isham shivam ekam ide the lord of omkar omkar is the single syllable indicating the supreme truth sagun nirakar it is actually but then some rishi pragna omkar form has come so omkar one who is the lord of omkar meaning the lord indicated through omkar and who is none other than omkar also but that supreme lord only appears as omkar through the sound symbol so all the three are there in our sanatan dharma nirgun nirakar so pointers of the formless one can contemplate upon then sagun nirakar that is omkar where bhagwan has qualities but no form nirgun nirakar means no qualities no form no attributes nothing so it is nameless formless attributeless absolute truth second is omkar with sagun nirakar so it is a sound symbol of bhagwan generally form does not come at that point in time because one is holding on to only the sound then there is sagun sakar so where there is form of bhagwan with quality so shiv ji vishnu bhagwan ganesh ji durga devi hanuman ji all like that you know so many forms bhagwan manifests as forms so and bhagwan has qualities and will have leelas and all this you know naam roop guna kriya leela sambandh dham and swarup eight aspects will be there so that is sagun sakar each one is subtler than the other sagun sakar is the simplest little subtler is sagun nirakar subtlest is the nirgun nirakar all three are forms of worship all three whichever one one takes one it will lead one to realization ultimately one doesn't have to move like this in the order of subtlety each path can take one to realization now the point is that omkar is sagun saka sagun nirakar upasana holding on to the sound and that sound symbol is indicating the supreme truth and so omkar omkaram isham can be split and as omkarascha ishascha that will become um, the dvandva samas omkara misha it has to become then but if we do separate words that omkaram alag isham alag then there is no problem so the lord who is omkar the lord who is isha the ruler or omkaram isham a one word because here they have given as one word the omkara misham so the lord of omkar or the lord indicated through omkar omkara misham shiva mekam ide and that who is he that is he is shiva so i praise i worship glorify that supreme lord now this is omkareshwar what is the uh, story here now so it is said that 
नारद जी ही वर्शिप गोकर्णेश्वर शिवा एंड एक्सट्रीमली ब्लिसफुल पीसफुल ही वॉज एंड ही इज मूविंग अबाउट एंड ही कम्स टू मीट विंध्याचल पर्वत विंध्यगिरी फिर विंध्याचल माउंटेन्स इन द मिडल ऑफ आवर कंट्री और वी बिलीव ऑल ऑफ देम आर ओनली द फिजिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ अ सटलर फॉर्म सो लाइक वी से मदर गंगा सो गंगा देवी सो गंगा देवी एज आदि दैविक फॉर्म एग्जिस्ट आदि भौतिक फॉर्म इट इज द रिवर विच इज फ्लोइंग गंगा पुत्र इज भीष्मा सी शी हैड अदर सेवन चिल्ड्रन हु आर अष्टवसूस एक्चुअली इंक्लूडिंग भीष्मा सेवन प्लस वन एट सेवन ऑफ देम शी ड्राउंड इन द गंगा जी बिकॉज दे हैड टू गेट लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम अ कर्स सो लाइक दैट देर इज अ आदि भौतिक रूप एंड आदि दैविक रूप एंड एन आध्यात्मिक रूप इज द स्पिरिचुअल नेचर गंगा इन द स्पिरिचुअल नेचर इज द सेल्फ दिस इज सेल्फ नॉलेज विच इज सेल्फ सो सेम वे विंध्या माउंटेन विंध्याचल पर्वत हैज आदि दैविक रूप सो नारद जी मेट्स हिम विंध्यगिरी एंड दे टॉक दे हैव सम सत्संग एंड एज दे इंटरक्ट सो नारद जी इज वेलकम्ड एंड विंध्यागिरी यू नो वर्शिप सेम इज अ ग्रेट महर्षि एंड ब्रह्मा जी सन ग्रेट डिवोटी ऑफ भगवान विष्णु सो विंध्यगिरी इज वेरी प्लीज वेरी हैप्पी एंड वेरी लविंगली ही वेलकम्स हिम ऑफर्स हिम you know the seat and then washes his feet gives him food to eat all that happens and then as they are talking narad ji recognizes that this vindhyagiri has a little pride that i am sarva guna sampanna you know and uh, i have great wealth on the mountains also i am very rich wealthy prosperous so he has a little slight ahankar of that and so narad ji decided that this ahankar has to be eliminated because that causes all sorrow the one of the deepest causes of sorrow is our ego because ego has att- attachments and that attachments definitely will bring sorrow and ego manifests in forms of attachment resistance insistence selfishness which becomes the cause of all the other anger greed jealousy passion intoxication delusion you know all those six vikars root cause is ego taking things very personally having a certain superiority or even inferiority in the mind so narad ji said thought that his kalyan should happen his uh, for his well being his ego must be reduced surrender to bhagwan so what did narad ji do he said so he started breathing heavily exhaling out heavily hmm. Hmm. so suddenly when he started doing that vindhya vindhyagiri he said narad ji what happened to you are you all right he said yes i am all right but you know uh i am just worried for you and that's why my breath you know i i, I it has i feel little breathless so he says uh, why what happened he said that you know you are no doubt sarvaguna sampanna but uh, meru parvat no far excels you meru parvat look at the height of meru parvat it goes up to swarga and your ranges are limited and hence uh, those who worship meru those who go to meru even they can reach up to devlok and uh, on the de- on the meru parvat many devatas they are 
you know, casually like a garden walks, so like that they are strolling, they are enjoying, they are moving about. And so it's a very divine Parvat. And uh, in front of Meru, you are limited. Now, when he said that, Vindhya Giri, Vindhya Giri felt very bad. He was sad that, you know, I am all Sarvaguna Sampanna and I am prosperous, etc. But Meru is much more than me. Now he is feeling sad. So what does he do? So he starts worshipping Bhagavan Sadashiva. And in which form? As Omkar. And so when he starts worshipping Bhagavan in the form of Omkar, uh, he does, he creates a Parthiva Linga and uh, puts the symbol of Om on that also. And he is worshipping Bhagavan. In six months' time, so he does every day puja, archana, dhyan, all that. And fully the mind is immersed in Bhagavat Seva, Bhagavat Upasana, Aradhana. Six months' time, Bhagavan gives darshan to him. And uh, when Bhagavan manifests there, along with uh, Vindhya, at, at that point in time, many rishis, devatas, they all also come there. They also want to have darshan of Bhagavan. So they all also come there. And uh, Bhagavan says that I am very pleased with you. All the tapasya that you have done, bhakti, shraddha that you have. And for my devotee, nothing is impossible. Ask what you will, what do you want, and uh, I will fulfill whatever you seek. So Bhagwan says to him, uh, uh, sorry, Vindhya Giri says to Bhagwan that uh, if you are very pleased with me, then please bless me with Sadbuddhi to achieve success in any endeavor. Whatever we take up, may I have Sadbuddhi first. See, that's what he asked. <clears throat> Siddhi Pradayini Sadbuddhi. And please bless me with that Sadbuddhi. See, this is the beautiful aspect here. We'll come to this now. Um, Bhagavan blesses him that Parvatraj, I bless you with this Siddhi Pradayini Sadbuddhi and with that may you attain success in whatever you take up and live in bliss, happiness, may you be successful. Now, uh, why did he ask this? Because see, the point is, it started with a jealousy in his mind. That, oh, Meru Parvat is greater than me. Oh, I am lesser. But Bhakti is that which will actually make us full, complete. When we compare with each other, then we feel, oh, that person is greater and I am lesser. Then we try to come up to that level. Then we find there somebody else is greater than that also. There is no end to that. What we have to do? We have to anchor within. The heart has to be full. And that Sadbuddhi, when we have, Bhakti is there, Sadbuddhi is there. That's all we require. Externally, yes, whatever we can do to keep growing, we keep evolving, have some goals, work hard, achieve what success we want to achieve, no problem. But internally, one should not have that feeling that I am lesser than anybody or somebody is greater than me. Because those are all roles that we are playing. You know, beautiful line in chess, when we used to play chess, you know. So, uh, the king and the pawn go back to the same box. The king and the pawn go back to the same box. Once we finish the play, when the, the, the you know, each of those are taken out. Then we put 
this is the king, this is the queen, and this is the rook, and this is the camel, and whatever, you know, the elephant, and all that, and the same uh, soldier. And each of them have specific powers. But when you finish the game, all go back to the same box. We come from Bhagwan, all of us, go back to Bhagwan. We are roles we are playing. In that, we play our role to the best of ability. We are somebody's, you know, some position, some power, someone holds. How does it matter? The truth is, our Swarupa is the same. We are Brahman. We are infinite consciousness. We are one with Bhagwan. If that is understood, then the rest of it is one Leela, one sport, not Leela. It's a sport. Leela word we use for Bhagwan. Once we realize oneness with Bhagwan, then it is Leela only for us also. <laughs> Till then, it is our sadhana. We play our roles. No jealousy, no comparison. How much time goes unnecessary comparing? And how much uh, pressure we take up upon ourselves because of that comparison. If my neighbor has achieved something, why do I have to achieve it? Not required. If somebody has a car, why should I have? If somebody's children are studying in a particular school only, why should my children also go there only? On the merit of it, if we feel it is necessary, okay, this school has great education, we want to send. That's a different point. Yesterday I was reading one flower seller's son insists that I want an iPhone. And that flower seller says, no, we can't afford, sorry, we, I can't get you iPhone and all. This boy does not eat food for three days. Throw such tantrums. Now that mother has to buy. So she went and got one and gave it to him. Think about that. What what is there in the mind of that boy that he feels worthy only if he has an iPhone? He feels happy only if there is a... Uh, if, the, if he feels that my parents love me only if they give me this. Otherwise, he is ready to throw tantrums and even end his life. What is that? How, how much we feel lesser about ourselves till we don't achieve something? That's because, one, we, we don't focus within... Second, we do comparison outside. And then we third, we feel that after I get that, then I will become better. Nothing will happen. If the heart is empty, no matter how much we get, we will still feel empty only. Because the cause is not out there. The cause is not that something is going to make me feel better. For some time, yes, I may feel. Again, something else will come up. The cause is inner bliss is not there. The cause is the right vision and attitude is not there. If the vision is only wrong, my happiness depends on other people, on something else that I get, some object, some position, some power, some praise, some appreciation. My happiness depends on all these. That wrong vision only becomes sorrowful, creates all sorrow, no matter how much one gets. So that's why this prayer by Vindhya Giri is very powerful. See, the reason why so this is where we have to understand the sarva guna sampanna. So he, when he has good qualities, those good qualities make him think that, you know, really speaking, why do I feel sad? Why do I feel lesser? He introspects, then understands, oh, that is because my anchoring is not there in bhakti. He could have taken the other path. He says, no, I will also become great. I will worship Bhagavan Shiva. I will get powers from him and I will tell him, make me greater than Meru also. But he didn't ask any of that. He said, you please give me Sadbuddhi. Because this Sadbuddhi is all that is required. Bhakti is anyway having and Bhagavan has manifested. He says, I am pleased with your Bhakti. So Bhagavan Skripa is already there in that sense. So he is he introspected and he asks, please bless me with Sadbuddhi. Siddhi Pradayani Sadbuddhi. So that Sadbuddhi, if it is there, whatever Siddhi one gets also, it will not go into the head. One. Two, Sadbuddhi is such that one does not depend on Siddhi for one's uh, self-esteem. 
If Siddhi comes, success comes, very good. If it doesn't come, Ram Ram. I did my best. I keep doing my best. That's it. Very inspiring. Some of our athletes, if you see, Neera Chopra, he attempted, attained silver. But he says, no time for regret, no time for celebration. I am back to training. See that mindset. Equanimous in success. Equanimous, even if one, last time he won in Tokyo the gold, now it is silver. But no regret. Did the best for the country. Again, back to training. So the mindset has to be like that. The right vision if one has, the right attitude one has, and one is doing one's best. One feels happy. We got the opportunity. We are serving. We are attaining various things. What more is required? If this simple thing we understand, and our children, youngsters, they look at us and understand this, life will be so much more inspiring. Otherwise, young people getting into drugs, depression, suicide, you know, all kinds of tantrums one is throwing. Why? Because this basic thing is not clear. I plus object is equal to happiness. That is the equation we have created. Vedan says you drop the dependency on the object. I is equal to happiness. That is our nature. So Vindhyagiri, he asked Bhagwan, please bless me with this Sad Buddhi. Siddhi Pradayani Sad Buddhi. Then, <clears throat> um, Devatas, Rishis, many of them have come there. So Vindhyagiri, along with all of them, request Bhagwan that please you be here only and bless everyone with this kind of Sadbuddhi. And so Bhagwan manifests and stays there in the form of the Jyotirlinga. And so this Jyotirlinga gets, uh, what we can say, Bhagwan appears in two places. And so the Omkar. So the Sadashiva, who was worshipped as Omkar, that remains as Omkareshwar on the Mandhata mountain. And the Parthiva Linga that was worshipped by Vindhyagiri. So the so Bhagwan who is Omkareshwar, who is uh, who was worshipped by Vindhyagiri, that Omkareshwar. Bhagwan is on the Mandhata mountain, manifest there, and the specific Parthiva Linga, because Bhagwan manifests there as a Jyotir Linga, and then that Jyotir Linga becomes the Omkareshwar. Then the Parthiva Linga, which is there, which he has worshipped, Vindhyagiri has worshipped, that moves to uh, opposite side. So Narmadaji is there, Omkareshwar, and then the rest of the land which is there. So on the other side of Narmadaji. So when we come in a vehicle, etc., we have Om Am Amleshwarji first, then we take a boat, go across Narmadaji, then come to Omkareshwar. So that is Amleshwarji. So now that is the specific linga that uh, he worshipped, Vindhyagiri. <clears throat> From there also, now one says, oh, that linga was cut and put there, oh my God. No, no. So that Bhagwan manifested again from that linga also and that has gone and appears there in the form of Amleshwar linga. So both are Jyotis. Both are Jyotir linga, that's why. It is not that this linga is lifted and put there. <laughs> Parthiv linga, I told you, Vilay happens there only. No? So the so Bhagwan's Jyoti manifests from there and goes, establishes there. So that's what is said here. That is Amaleshwar Shiva or Parameshwara. So Parameshwar, Amaleshwar on one side, Omkareshwar on the other side. So this is given in Shiva Puran, Kote Rudra Samhita, 18 chapter, 22 to 24 verse. Omkaram chaiva yallingam ekam tachadvidhagatam pranavechaiva omkaram 
ನಾಮಸೀತ್ಸ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸೊ ಓಂಕಾರ ಚೈವ ಯಲ್ಲಿಂಗಂ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಂಕಾರ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲಿಂಗ ಏಕಂ ತಚ್ಚ ದ್ವಿಜ ಏಕಂ ತಚ್ಚ ದ್ವಿಧ ಗತಂ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆರ್ ಶಿವ ತತ್ವ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಟೂ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಣವೇ ಚೈವ ಓಂಕಾರ ದಟ್ ಓಂಕಾರ the shiva tattva indicated by omkar nama asit sa sada shiva that is sada shiva bhagwan indicated by omkar that bhagwan is called omkareshwar who is the lord of omkar revealed through omkar he is there then parthi vechaiva yajjatam tada asit parameshwarah bhakta bhishta pradau chobhau bhukti mukti pradau dvijaha Parthiva Chaiva Yajjatam, that Jyoti which appeared from the Parthiva, Tadasi Parameshwara, that is Parameshwara. Now don't think, oh that is Parameshwara, this is Omti Omkareshwara, both are same Baba. Name Omkareshwara, Parameshwara. So, Bhakta Bhishta Pradav Chobhav, both of them, Omkareshwara Ji and Parameshwara or Amaleshwara, both of them will bless the devotee with whatever they seek. and bhukti mukti pradav it will give bhukti also mukti also to all the seekers dvijas brahmanas devotees bhaktas anybody tat pujam cha tada chakruhu devas cha rishayas tatha so both of them were worshiped by devatas rishis prapur uh, prapur varan anek anscha santoshya vrishabha dvajam and they attained many many boons having pleased bhagwan rishabh dhwaja who is shivji so now uh, you know one beautiful thing i came to know from a sadhu he calls himself mamleshwar giri mamleshwar giri during my narmada parikrama uttar tat which i did last year that time i met him and uh, very tejasvi sadhu his eyes are blue in color and uh, old so he we had nice satsang in that he told me that now the dam has been built on, uh, in omkareshwar so the water flow is regulated <clears throat> but otherwise narmada ji when the dam was not built there the flow of narmada ji was tremendous and lots of whirlpools in narmada ji in that place in omkareshwar and he used to say that uh, and that he has experienced also and he used to say that uh, earlier times when people used to go and take out some banalinga some stones they will actually see the form of om on those how because of the formation of the whirlpools and it keeps on rotating that stone also gets certain forms certain various uh, formations happen on the stone so he would say that omkareshwar bhagwan is there no doubt but lingas that you get there also earlier they would have you know the vague form of om sometimes very clear it will be there so omkareshwar bhagwan now this omkareshwar uh is on the mandhata mountain so there is one story that mandhata uh raja he was in the ikshvaku vamsha he is the uh, ancestor of uh mukund raja ambarish raja uh yeah so he is the ancestor of them so he is mandhata king mandhata has uh, done tapasya there on that particular mountain and worship bhagwan shiva there and from that time that place is called mandhata tirtha bhagwan manifested there also and uh, there are 68 tirthas as well as 33 crore devatas on that mandhata mountain is what the shastra says <clears throat> now uh, 
It is also said that one may do many Tirtha Yatras, but one must bring water from different Tirtha Yatras wherever one has gone and then come and offer it on Omkareshwarji. That is one sadhana that one can do. And uh, it is said that Tirtha Yatras become complete only when you visit Omkareshwarji and do the Abhishek there. And because and it's also on the banks of Narmadaji, so it is said that the uh, punya that one gets by take, doing Ganga Snan for seven days and uh, Nar Yamuna Snan for 15 days, one gets just by having Darshan of Narmadaji. So that way, this place is very, very sacred. And uh, Kuber also has done Tapasya there established a linga and uh, you will find Kuber Bhandari also. Kuber Bhandari is another place on the Narmada Parikrama, but here also there is a Kuber Mandir. Uh, people do the Parikrama of the whole Mandhata mountain because Omkareshwarji, so as we said, you know, the Mandhata Parvat is apparently of the form looks similar to Omkar. And where in Omkar we put Chandra Bindu, there is the Omkareshwar uh, Mandir. So about 7-8 kilometers is the Parikrama. So generally when we finish Narmada Parikrama, then we go across and then offer Jal to Omkareshwarji and then do the Mandhata Parikrama also which is actually Omkareshwari's Parikrama, because Omkareshwar is up here, and then we are doing full Parikrama like that. So, this uh, Parikrama happens, and uh, who, for, where is this, who, who is this Kaveri? So, this Kaveri also is from the Jata of Bhagwan Shiva. This is not the Kaveri which we think of in the south. This Kaveri also is specifically from the Jata of Bhagwan Shiva, and of course, when Bhagwan manifested there, so one part of uh, the river is flowing. That's the bhav here at Kaveri and Narmada, and then the Sangam happens. Um, then it is also said here that uh, this specific linga. Omkareshwar Linga is not exactly below in the, <clears throat> in the Shikhara. Because Bhagwan has manifested and is there in the natural form, Swayambhu form. Uh, so it is not exactly in the uh, center of the Shikhara, below in the Shikhara. And the uh, Mandir is quite small. Those of you who have gone, you know that uh, Omkareshwar is Darshan. Uh, passage is a little narrow and then one goes, does the Darshan there. And Par there is Parvatiji's Murti, there is Panchamukhi Ganeshji outside. Now, on the second floor, if you see there, there are three floors. Generally, we go only to the first floor, on the top floor, and then do the darshan of Omkareshwarji and come out. But there is second floor, and there is Mahakaleshwar Lingamurti there. And uh, third floor, there is Vaidyanatheshwar Lingamurti. These two are exactly below in the Shikhar. And uh, Mandhata, when we do the Parikrama, there is a small Parikrama, there is a big Parikrama. Big Parikrama is 7 kilometers, small Parikrama is just around the temple, I think. Um, so there on the Mandhata mountain, Bhagwan has manifested in different forms and beautiful Mandirs. One is Gauri Somnath Mandir, big Linga is there, very beautiful one, Gauri Somnath Mandir. Then there is... Uh, Rinamochana, Rinamukteshwar Shiva. That is also another very nice mandir, Rinamukteshwar Shiva. So one takes bath in the Kaveri Sangam and then goes up. Rinamukteshwar Shiva is there. Rinamukteshwar is so nice name. One who frees us from all debts. Meaning, not only the financial debts. That frees us, meaning one has to work hard. Bhagavan will give the karma phala, free us from debts, etc. But karmic debts, that is the important part. One who frees us from all the karmic debts makes us realize I am Brahmasmi. 
I am not the jiva, burns away all our sanchit karma, Rinamukteshwar Shiva. In Narmada Parikrama, when we go, lot of places we find this name of Bhagwan. I didn't know this name of Bhagwan before I start, I did the Parikrama. At Rajghat in Badwani also there is Rinamukteshwar Shiva. Here also Mandhata Rinamukteshwar Shiva. Many places it comes. So, beautiful Mandir of Rinamukteshwar Shiva is there. Gauri Somnath is there. Then there is Siddheshwar. Now that Siddheshwar Mandir is dilapidated. But otherwise, this, all these are various forms of Bhagwan who is manifested in this uh, sacred mountain and that's why it's considered very important. And one does the parikrama of that. Then, um, so this is about Omkareshwar Ji. Now the uh, it is said that you know the uh, gel which is offered to Omkareshwar ji goes straight into Narmada ji. Now, so if you see some of the Brahmanas there, that's what it, it is written here that uh, some of the Brahmanas they will keep their hand below the linga because anything offered, if something precious is there, will go away into Narmada ji, so they will collect it. So, there's some direct connection, it seems, because it's on the mountain and there's a stone formation and there must be some porous things where the water flows and then goes into Narmada ji. So, this is the glory of Omkareshwar ji. Here, the Mahatmya, it is said, Devasthana samamhyetat matprasada bhavishyati annadanam tapapuja tatha pranava tatha prana visarjanam yekurvantina rastesham shiva loka nivasanam. So, this is a very sacred place, Devasthanam hyetat and matprasada bhavishyati. Skanda Puran, Reva Khand, chapter 22. Annadanam tapa puja japa. And even prana visarjanam ye kurvanti narastesham. They who drop their bodies here, who do tapa, puja, annadana, etc., attain Shiva Loka. Amaranam shataishchaiva sevito yamareshwaraha tathaiva rishi sanghascha tena punyatamo mahan. Again, Revakhan, but this is chapter 28, 133rd shloka. So, uh, Amareshwar Tirtha. Many, many crores of devatas, rishis, siddhas, all of them are worshipping Bhagwan there. And that's why this is a very glorious, sacred place. So, this is Omkareshwar Ji. So, today, we will worship Bhagwan through Omkar. We will chant Omkar. And our bhav is Omkar is Bhagwan. And Omkar is that supreme truth consciousness which is shiva the sound omkar akara ukara and makara when we chant om our focus is the waker the dreamer the deep sleeper is not me the silence which is there before the om during the om after the om which is called fourth state of awareness turiya that is me that is consciousness. So that is the bhav, which is nirgun nirakar. Sagun nirakar is we focus only on the sound of omkar. If there is no other form that comes in the mind at that point in time, I am only able to focus on the sound and have the bhav that this sound is the symbol of supreme. So I am chanting Bhagwan's name and focusing only on the sound. Bhagwan is manifesting through the sound. And if I need the form, then yes, visualize Omkar and the Linga. So, um, let me see, I can share that. So, I am sharing just one picture, which is Omkar and the Linga. If you need a picture, you can use this. This is just one 
option you know it's not that only this you if you want to worship any other form you can worship i mean any other way you want to have om on the linga you want to have only om that is up to you this is just one option 